Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I've just got home, trip to the thrift, it's done. And I realized that I was so eager to get stuck into today's episode that I never filmed an intro. So this is the intro, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing really well. This is gonna be a fun one because I just have bought a, a heap of stuff and I know it's a good episode. So stick around, watch it all, hit the like button if you get anything out of it. And uh, I'm gonna go edit this video and give it to you in a second, but we'll see you in the first thrift that was about four hours ago. See you guys. guys what a way to kick off the day an unbelievable start have a look at this windbreaker jacket geelong cats footy club in the afl the old slazenger logo on there as well this is very very old school guys i don't know if it's exactly in the 90s but we're talking probably early 2000s this is a size large nothing wrong with it i do believe it will go on to sell for a few uh so i was very very stoked to pick that one up hey i also found some tommy jeans as you would have seen never ever go past your tommy hilfiger jeans when you find them guys this is a 36 waist a 32 length i always like to shoot for the stars and go for a, around the 45 to 50 dollars when i resell it on ebay a very crispy pair of men's jeans those ones there hey i found a really cool book series as well Kristen cast is the author thank you very much to her for making a very good book series that i can go on to sell on ebay uh, there's seven of these novels it's a house of night novel there's a few more in the series but i believe having seven of them i'll be able to get a pretty good price based on the comps that i saw i also like to get through the dvds as you guys would know if you've watched this show regularly uh it it ain't half hot mum there we go there let me know if you've seen that um i've never seen it never even heard of it but it was copying well on ebay so i bought it um i also found howard's way guys howard's way as well in the dvd bundle there's three seasons worth there uh fingers crossed i can get a few out of that and uh all creatures great and small this one i know goes on to sell really well we're talking about 20 bucks a pop here for these and i've got five of them so you do the maths it's probably about a hundred dollars worth maybe i'll say eighty dollars just to be safe uh, and then the last thing that i found as well was this xbox 3 360 console e console i don't know exactly the storage level of this big guy but he was 30 bucks and i think i can bundle him up resell him on ebay for around about the 150 dollars price point once i get my hands on a few controllers and games unfortunately i've just got the cables with this one so not a bad find it's a bit of a rare one to find an xbox 360 console on the thrift so to do it in the very first one to kick off the day is a very good thing let's move on guys really happy with the first one hopefully we can find exactly the same sort of stuff in the next the great off shot runs guys off shot number two we are all wrapped up and i've got seven pairs of shoes i've come through with the goods again on the shoe front um i've got a pair of under armor 
Bandit women's running shoes here. Now, these are a size US 7.5, but I've also got another pair of the exact same shoe in a size US 8. So, really cool there. I think I was definitely cleaning out a lady's Under Armour shoe collection. I was really happy to be the beneficiary because she has some very, very good shoes. Um, these are the Under Armour Hovers, as you can see there. Hover. Uh, these ones are a really nice pair as well. I think the same size, a US 7.5 on those. And these, again, a US 7.5. These are a brand new pair of Under Armour women's running shoes. US seven and a half. Look at the soles on those. Absolutely never worn those shoes. So look, I typically go between fifty to sixty dollars on shoes. So I'm saying that we're talking about two hundred dollars on those four Under Armour shoes right there. Uh, we've got the Ultra Boosts as well, guys. Have a look at those. A crispy pair of Adidas Ultra Boosts. Now I was really happy to find these, but I was a little bit disappointed to see them as a US four. So we'll see how we go on resale value. I will still aim pretty high. I'm going to go for maybe about sixty bucks on those. And I found the Nike Revolution fours. These are a size US 8.5 men's running shoes. Um, they should go on to sell okay. And then I've also found these ones as well, the N5923 Adidas casual slash running shoes as well. So uh, these ones are a size 6. Um, again, a little smaller in size, but for the price, I thought I had to go for it. Um, now, the books as well, guys. While I did go really well there on the shoes, I also went really well in a 50-cent store for books. And incredible stuff. I don't often find 50-cent books in this this uh, sort of a large scale, so I was really happy to come away with a heap here. Um, I've found Daisy Meadows. Now, Daisy Meadows is a kid's book series. I've got a few there. I've got a hell of a lot more here as well. I've got 20 books in this series, and uh, the comps were fairly okay on eBay, so I thought I'd have to grab that. Daisy Meadows, look out for it if you can find that bundle. Um, another really good bundle that I have sold in the past as well is EJ12. It's, a, again, a kid's book series. I've got nine books here, so I've only paid $4.50 for these. And um, and the comps are great. And, I, and like I said, I have sold them in the past. So that was a good one too. Um, so Daisy Meadows. Um, yeah, oh, okay. We've also got these as well. Uh, Mario, Super Mario World, 1990 DVDs. A um, couple of TV show episodes there for those. Um, oh, the, there were no comps on eBay with these, but I still thought I'd run the run the risk and take that because that was only a dollar each. I paid $2. I'm, I'm going to push maybe 20 bucks free postage, something like that, which would be a pretty good result. So... A couple of DVDs, a heap of books, and seven pairs of shoes, which was the real winner there. I've paid $50 for everything, guys. All the books and all the shoes, 50 bucks, an absolute winning scenario. The shoes alone should go on to sell for $350 if they all sell for $50 each. So uh, incredible run there for option number two. Let's keep pushing on, and fingers crossed, option number three can be just the same. Guys, option number three is all done, and I was really happy to find this Michael Jordan basketball jersey as well. So I've picked this one up. It's a size large. I won't say that it is genuine because I don't believe it to be true, uh, but it is a very good fake uh, in that in that regard. Anyway, look, I think these are a really good item for Facebook Marketplace. I think this one will sell between thirty to thirty-five dollars pretty comfortably. Um, I've only paid eight dollars for it, so I was really happy to find it. You don't often come across uh, Jordan um, sort of basketball jerseys in the thrift around that eight-dollar price point, so I was happy to grab it. Um, an awesome brand that I know the girls love. I don't know my women's range too well, but I do know Camilla and Mark. Camilla and Mark, made in Italy. These shoes, look, they're not typically the sort of shoes that I would normally pick up, but I saw somebody trying to sell a brand new pair on eBay for around about $160, I think. So I'm going to give these a bit of a whirl. We'll see how we go. If I can get upwards of $70 to $80 for them, because they are in pretty good condition, um, I think that'd be a great result. Off a $12 spend. So running a bit of a risk, trying something new, which is always a good thing. Uh, going back to what I always know, and that is the Adidas running shoes. These are a, a very nice pair, to be honest. There's nothing wrong with these. They're only 
seven dollars. So I thought I'd nick them. Um, the size was a US uh, seven and a half as well. A lot of seven and a halves today. And uh, guys, not something that I've bought too much of in the past, but I'm going to give it a bit more of a go because the cycling clothing goes on to sell pretty well on eBay. If you do a search for men's cycling jerseys, you'll see that they go on to sell pretty well. So look, this one here didn't cost me too much. It is a size a triple XL. Um, the brand was Santini. Santini. I don't know my cycling ranges too well, but this one looked like a quite a nice jersey, so I thought I'd just give it a go and just test the market, see how much I can get for that one. Um, that was everything. We got four items there. Pretty short, sharp run, but uh, the Michael Jordan jersey was a pretty good one. Um, let's move on. Finish the day really strongly. We'll see what we can get. We'll see you in there. Right, guys this day is done and i was actually able to get quite a number of items to end the day as well which is a very good thing um, i'll start with this little clearance rack dvd collection i've got volumes two three four five and six and geez i'm frustrated that if there's five seasons there where the hell is season one because that would have been a whole lot better but anyway i found uh crush gear turbo i've never heard of it it's a bit of an anime uh dvd series there there it is there so i've never heard of it like i said there's a lot of dvds that i've bought today that i've never heard of you don't need to be knowledgeable on every single thing that you find uh, what I am knowledgeable on is how nice this jumper is. That is a very, very slick Jeep jumper that I have found in the thrift here. Now, this one was $8. It was a size double XL, a really nice men's sweater, a Jeep, uh, authentic, genuine Jeep sweater. Um, just a navy blue, and uh, it's got the little embroidery there with Jeep on the front as well, which is good, as you can see there. And uh, look, $8 might turn into $50. We'll see how we go. Um, a couple of plain essentials, guys. We're not plain. Now, check it essentials i've got the tommy hilfiger large there um, in a button-up shirt i've paid eight dollars i've got a striped ralph Lauren, as you can see there ralph Lauren for eight dollars size large and i've also found another one that you would have seen as well the tommy hilfiger uh stripe as well and that was a triple xl for a big guy um so three of those i've paid eight dollars each if it was eight dollars fifty nine dollars i would have been saying no every time eight dollars is my limit when it comes to business shirts and dress shirts like these um i sell them for 28 95 free postage so in the end with my my post i'm probably selling them for about 21 bucks take out your fees i'm literally only making about seven or eight dollars a piece but the good thing is they do sell they are a bit of an essential keeps the store ticking over i definitely still see merit in buying them but probably not quite at the eight dollar price point it always is a touch and go scenario when i see them at that price um tell you what isn't a touch and go scenario are these asics gt 2000 men's running shoes have a look at those i'm excited about these men's running shoes i wish they were my size i've only paid nine dollars for them uh, and they are a size eight and a half so a very very nice pair of men's running shoes in the asics range another really really good top quality pair of men's footy boots the black and white nike tempos these are just a really rad pair of shoes have a look at the bottom of those if you know your footy boots you'll know that these are a great pair guys i paid seven dollars for these which is just madness um i'm gonna go upwards of maybe 70 to 80 dollars something like that for those just just crazy um and then look the size wasn't great but the quality of the shoe was and that's the reason why i had to pick it up and also the colorway as well we're talking the barcelona colorway uh nike mercurials have a look at those now the soles on them nothing wrong i've paid seven dollars again they're a us five and a half but i've had to pick these up because these are a very slick pair of men's running shoe uh football boots i should say um so they're going to go based on size 50 to 60 dollars i'll probably say but they are a top of the range um footy boot even though they're a small size are still top of the range so i had to say yes 
Um, awesome little finish there. Three pairs of shoes, three pairs of dress shirts, and then my DVDs that I have absolutely no, no idea in, but I hope that I'll go on to sell them for some pretty good money. Um, guys, thank you very much for those that have supported the website and checked it out. I really do appreciate that. I've got the house at mama.com.au rolling now. Links are in the description below to check it out. I'll be putting a few of these items today onto the website, uh, so definitely go and check it out. If there's anything you want, it's a pretty simple click and purchase process. Uh, thank you for tuning into this one, guys. They are always my most favorite videos to make. They do take a little while to edit, but I have a lot of fun doing them. Hit the like button to show your appreciation. It'd be very, very much appreciated. And until next time, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning into this one. Bye, guys.